Hello, and welcome to a Breaking It All Down Let's Play. I'm Count Zero. So, this is the point where our actions become a little more... where we probably kind of start questioning our actions, and that we've just done a thing which is your standard supervillain tactic, which is breach the dam, causing killing indiscriminately loads of civilians. That said, the, the game story... Oh, she wait. Basically, right, the game's story makes these actions a little slightly less questionable by showing that this attack, while it hurt civilians, directly correlated to an improvement, to something of an improvement of things, sort of, for the slums. The water level in the slums went down. Um, areas that were flooded are no longer flooded. And also, we'll now be able to hopefully get to the Bastille to break some people out, some of the uh, inmates out, and hopefully restore some of their memories. Grâce au code que j'ai volé à l'architecte, Edge a provoqué une inondation en sabotant le barrage Saint-Michel. D'après lui, c'était une punition appropriée pour ceux qui ne se soucient pas de leur petit confort. Pourquoi lui ai-je obéi J'aurais pu quitter la ville. M'inventer une nouvelle vie ailleurs. Mais j'ai préféré redevenir l'ennemi public numéro un. Était-ce dans ma nature Avons-nous vraiment vengé les exclus du slum 404 Ou bien vont-ils souffrir davantage par ma faute Seul un militant croit que la fin justifie les moyens. Edge m'a révélé que ma mémoire avait été conservée dans la forteresse de la Bastille depuis ma condamnation. Il faut que j'y retourne pour la récupérer. Le seul moyen d'entrer à la Bastille est de piller la mémoire de Johnny Grintis, l'habitant le plus mystérieux de Slum 404. Le problème, c'est que personne ne sait vraiment qui il est, ni où il se cache. So, I mean, put another way, with a terrorist bombing, be it of an embassy, or of just roadside bombing, that sort of thing. As an outsider, I can't see from the effects of the bombing any noticeable improvement for anyone else, be it your faction or other people, or yeah, particularly your, your faction. I can't tell how it helps your side. Here, there is a certain degree, oh hi kid Christmas, uh, there's a certain degree of ways of saying... Okay, Nilin. Tommy va t'aider à t'infiltrer dans la Bastille. Oh, wait. Retourne le voir à son bar. On n'aurait pas pu faire ça ce matin quand j'y étais Non, il fallait d'abord assécher les sous-sols du Slum 404. Je vois que tu avais tout prévu. There is a way where we can say, oh, our actions, while they harmed civilians, had a noticeable effect for people in the slums. The water level is lowered. So it's possible for civilians from the slums to access things in the Comfortress. Alright, here's a new game mechanic. Uh, operating switches remotely. Um, hang on, let's go this way. Aha! Collectible. So, while our character is a errorist, which is basically a lot like a terrorist, there's the idea that what our actions did might have theoretically helped people. 
That said, things don't always work as planned. I mean, this is a cyberpunk story, so we're being cynical. All right, so the news is actually getting a little more favorable in terms of its, of its depictions of Nillen and Edge, though I don't like the fun buddy thing. Like, I'm sorry, Nillen's a person with agency. Ah, there, he's right at the edge. Okay. I'll try to roll under. So let's read this one. Appearance of the Leapers. Hmm. So, yeah, this, this pretty much plays into my theory that Leapers are born out of memory transference addiction and conflict and the loss of self that comes with that. And particularly, like how your, how the body reacts to this sort of loss of self. So there is another one. Yeah, but the things kind of went wrong, though. I uh, didn't go 100 percent right. Particularly, we now have a whole bunch of like the number of leapers. From the sewers have probably become a bit, have increased. Also, we now have a five a uh, six hit combo available. We don't have enough moves unlocked to do a six hit combo, but we have a six hit combo available. And yeah, this one is the square triangle triangle square triangle triangle one. So. It's the combos are sort of very traditional combo types, it's just the structure of them is different. And returns the health that the dam health that I lost from your hit. Frickin' camera. Nah, it's just the one of you. And there should be a item over here somewhere. Where? There it is. The set patch almost up another uh, health bar spot. So our good intentions have had a bit of a backfire in terms of with the with the influx of more leapers who may have been trapped down in the subways and sewers before, but I can get up here now. So I got a little stuck on this puzzle, because um, the way the camera perspective is, there's a switch I need to shoot in the shop to open another gate, and when I go in there, camera perspective is just close enough that I can't see the switch. Oh, actually, rather, there's a switch over there, which I didn't quite, which I wasn't able to see until I got to, like, this position over here. It's, if you look, I can, in the upper right-hand corner, in those few seconds ago, 
you can kind of see it. Now it's, but it's just far enough in the back that it's not really called to anyone, called to my attention. And there's also the red herring of that bot saying there's an oil leak. Alright, now I recognize it. Now I can finally evade. I'll get through this. However, I've taken some damage in the meantime, which means whoever my next opponent is, I need to start up with the uh, healing combos first. Ah, more news update. Wow, there's blatant lies. Un sabotage spectaculaire, une inondation géante, des milliers de citoyens jetés à la rue. C'est pas mal pour un champ du signe. Sans parler de l'évasion de Nilin, l'ennemi public numéro un qui court toujours. Ce mouvement moribond a plutôt l'air de péter la santé. La force sabre est déployée autour du slum 404 pour éviter une propagation des troubles. La sédition ne passera pas. Quant à Mademoiselle Nilin, sa cellule l'attend à la Bastille. Merci. <laughs> you keep rocking that spin, Colonel Tight Pants. And you're saying that, that Maggie keeps referring to his tight pants. I wonder if the English version of him has him being voiced by, uh, um, oh, near nudity. <clears throat> yeah, uh, gynoid sex bots exist in this setting, although most of the ones we've seen though, so far aren't really that humaniform. But hey, whatever floats your boat. Apparently, they closed the gate on somebody and nobody noticed. This is a good place to any to wrap up, so next time we will continue making our way through the slums.